<laughs> There's a friend of mine that used to say that all the time. He'd go, gosh, can you believe it? It's really cool. Now, that's two different people. One was named Bob, and the other was named Jim. And uh, between the two, they were kind of like, gosh, can you believe it? It's really cool. <laughs> and they had these expressions that they would always have, you know, it seemed like, for just about everything that was going on in life. And, you know, God has an expression for me every day that I really enjoy. He has his light. And right now, looking at the light streaming through, I'm looking through some leaves and I can see, as it were, just rays of beautiful, almost like rainbowic sunshine coming down through the leaves, just coming out of the sides, almost like, you know, reaching out as like a, a big flower of light, you know, coming towards me. And it's just like beautiful. It's like I must imagine the throne to be, you know, when it says there's a rainbow around. But I bet the rainbow was extended outward, coming at me as I see the light. As I look at the light, and then I can't see nothing. <laughs> but as I look at the light, I can see just, it's like rainbowic. You know, it's almost like every single ray is kind of like broken up. And it's like there's a rainbow in it. You know, it's kind of, ooh, beautiful. I just can't wait to get to heaven. Can you? It's kind of exciting. You know, I keep my eyes on the clouds, hoping to see my Jesus. I keep my eyes looking up because, hey, we don't have much time left. It's almost over. Then we get to get on with real life because this life, man, it's passing away. It wasn't what it was all about. It was just for you to make a choice to decide which way you'd go. And if you're walking in the light, as he is in the light, then not only do you have fellowship, but you've discovered that, ew, this is dark. You don't want to be in the dark. You want to be in the light. And so you're kind of like heading one way or the other. You either got to grip on the upper, or you got to grip on the downer. Are you an upper or downer? Oh, boy, I hope you're heading the right way. There's only one way to go. You don't want to go that way. You sure don't want to go that away. You want to go that away. Well, either way you choose. I pray that God wins and you lose because after all, He has determined that His will is that none should perish but all should come to eternal life. But the choice is still the person's to make. So we need to walk in that light as He has told us to, as He has chosen us to, as He wants us to. You shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made unto us, unto our God, kings and priests. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness here it comes you ready for it get ready into his marvelous light yeah the light you shall be named priests of the Lord men shall call you ministers of our God priests of God and of Jesus Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Thank you, Lord. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. The temple of God is holy, which temple you are. We are called to walk in the light, but also to do the things that should be brought to the light. The things that we would not do in darkness, but the things that we would do in the light. You know, shine your light. That we want sometimes to be in the spotlight, to do the tebos. Or to do the... You know, give thanks to the Lord. When you're going through it, give Him thanks. When you're blowing it, give Him thanks. When you're living it, when you're loving it, when you're giving it, Oops, that's a different tape. <laughs> oh, countdown songs. Hey, you over there? Yeah, I'm over here. Okay, we'll forget it. But when you're really in the light, and you kind of let God shine, and not your own light, you're not flicking your big, you're not 
causing the spotlight, you know, to shine on you, but you're letting God shine upon you. <laughs> you can't help but show the glory of the image of God that's been impressed in you, that is going to be expressed out of you, because God is the one who has caused his light to shine. So don't be surprised if today God reminds you you're his minister, his priest. You're one of his children. Yet there's something bright about you. Something light about you. Something today to, dare I say, shine about. 